Hi there. My name is Dave. I'm speaking to you from virtual reality using software called Immersed. Back in September of 2021, I experimented with Immersed and wanted to share my VR experiences with my family, friends, and a few colleagues. So I made this video and posted it on my personal YouTube channel. I really only expected a few people to see it. It wasn't produced or carefully written or scripted or anything, but after four months, it had over 28,000 views. So I decided to remove it from my personal YouTube channel and post it here on a new channel that will be dedicated to videos relating to productive work in VR. At this point, I work in Immersed full-time, every day. Uh, so I look forward to sharing some of the great tips and tricks that I've learned with everyone. Uh, please know that I am not an Immersed employee or affiliate. Uh, Immersed has not reviewed or approved my videos. I'm a paying customer. Uh, they do have a free plan, by the way, but I simply love Immersed so much that I created this YouTube channel to share my enthusiasm for this game-changing technology. Now, I didn't intend this specific video for a wide audience, so it's really pretty long-winded and rambling, so my apologies for that. Future videos should be shorter and more to the point. But people seem to find this video helpful, so here it is. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, and God bless you. So hello from virtual reality. Hi. Um, I am borrowing a Oculus Quest 2 headset from my good buddy Luke. And I put myself in space here because, you know, why not? You can. I'm not a huge uh, gamer, so virtual reality games haven't been very appealing to me. But I do work as a software developer. And... Um, the idea, the concept of working in virtual reality is intriguing to me. So I've been playing with some things. Um, first, I want to show you, um, I'm using some hand gestures to open up some software here. I want to show you a video, a very brief video of my real life, kind of real world, non-virtual reality work setup. So here's how I usually so do my work. here's a super brief video of my my work setup, I've got uh, three monitors, as you can see, my laptop over here. I've got uh, two extended monitors, um, and I've got my wireless keyboard and wireless trackball. And so typically I have it set up where all three screens are sort of a personal uh, stuff. So personal calendar, email, maybe my Spotify over here, or Discord or something over there. Um, and then when I want to switch into sort of work mode, I use Windows Extended Desktops to actually switch over to see this is my work setup where I've got Putty over here and I've got all my code and I've got my application that I'm working on here. And then I can toggle back and forth between work and personal stuff. And um, so that's, that's my sort of physical real world setup. All right, so I'm going to use some hand gestures to call up some menus and to control some things. My real world <laughs> work setup is, and now here in the virtual world, I've been experimenting with a software called Immersed. The idea behind Immersed is to allow you to do work in virtual reality. Uh, and so they do things like collaboration with other people in virtual environments. Um, and they also allow you to have other um, monitors, virtual monitors. So here, as it initializes, here we go. So this is my, uh, my work setup here in virtual reality. And I have the hand tracking is still uh, active so I can control things with that. But what you're seeing here are the three screens, this one um, on the left, the one up top, and the one on the right are the three screens that exist in the real world. And this lovely picture of my beautiful daughter, Kelsey, hi Kelsey, um, is a virtual monitor that I've oriented um, to be vertical and really tall because that makes it uh, really interesting for work. So here I'm typing blind, my keyboard is here and my um, trackball is here, so you can't really see um, how I'm moving those around. 
But, oh, I need to really quick do one thing for display real quick. I need to tell Windows that this monitor is on top. So then my when I scroll up and down, the mouse knows where to go. So there we go. So now I can scroll down. So now um, in my work environment, I can see this great big um, kind of panel. So I can see a lot of different code um, and I can... I can move around and then over here on the side, I usually have my uh, kind of my putty, which is how I interact with the, our build servers and our code over here. And then the actual application here. So I can write code, interact with the server, see it, um, you know, and kind of work in my environment. And then this is sort of my communication panel up here. I can look up here to send emails or whatever. And that whole, the Windows switching thing still works. So now I've switched back to my personal. So over here, I've got my Spotify, Love Sister Hazel. Check them out if you don't know them. And I can, you know, check my email and do different, you know, here's here's my email. Maybe I put my email and make it really big in the middle. Um, so you can do different you know, different things. Uh, so let's take Discord, which is another communication tool, and I'll I'll put it up here. There's Reese when he was in Civil Air Patrol, by the way. Um, so now I have all these screens here, and I'm, as you can see, I'm floating in the Milky Way. I can look around, and I can see that these, you know, I'm just kind of hovering. And this is nice because this environment is not distracting. It's not moving. I don't hear anything. It's dark. And so I can really focus, you know, if I'm, if I'm working, I can focus on my work and you just heard my, um, my phone beep, um, in the real world. My phone is sitting right next to me. So I found a way to basically emulate my phone. So here's my phone. I can drag it down here so I can see it better. Um, so here I can interact with my phone, um, right here on, on, in the, um, in the virtual world. Um, so I can see, you know, the different things. So that's kind of fun too. So I don't have to take the, the goggles off to look at my phone. Now they, there's different hand gestures to do different things in this environment. And so I can, right now my screens are locked. I can unlock my screens. And then now with them unlocked, you see these borders around, um, these three screens are connected, which is why you only see the one yellow border around the middle one. And this one is separate. So you see the yellow border around it. Well, I can, my hands are what disabled, which is kind of funny to say, but I'm gonna use this gesture to enable my hands. See how they change color. Now I can grab and move these screens around, you know, like this, which is really cool. Maybe I wanna go ahead and attach that monitor there. Um, I can have them go, you know, further away as a group or bring them closer or whatever. And then say, yeah, I, I'm going to put this a little further away than I normally would. It, um, so I can show you some things about the environment. So I'm going to disable my hands so I don't mess anything up. Go ahead and bring up that little quick menu again. Um, oops. Sometimes the gesture doesn't catch just right. There it is. Lock those screens. Go ahead and close that. So now I'm going to use this gesture to pull up a different menu. Um, enable my hands and change. Maybe instead of the, the Milky Way, um, I want to have, you know, I want to go to, I don't know, a mountaintop. So now I can look down and look around. And if you're afraid of heights and that's no good for you, you can actually go to different environments that are active. Like for example, um, maybe I want to go to a Lakeview Lodge on a rainy day. So it'll reload the environment. And so here I am. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's actually the sound of rain and birds chirping. And I can look around. And I'm in this lodge and I can see the lake down below and it's raining, you know, or maybe that's not what I'm feeling. I want to like, maybe I'm feeling, um, adventurous. And so I'll go to the space lounge. The space, space lounge is ridiculous. Um, so here we are. 
uh, there is, you know, here's Australia, and I can look around and see everything, and and maybe um, I like over there that that area where that couch is. I can use this gesture, and now I'm sitting in that couch, and I, you know, I can still see the planet over there, um, or maybe um, let me pull up the menu. I like the, let's see, the Starship. The Starship is pretty cool, of course, because I'm a big space nerd. So now, oh, there's the moon. So I'm traveling fast and you can see, look up and see the planet and look down and then you can actually turn around and see I'm in the captain's chair and <laughs> you can see the engines. But, uh, so you can pick your environment, which is which is pretty crazy. Um, maybe I just want to go to a coffee shop instead of maybe keep my feet on the ground instead of being in space. So here I am in a coffee shop, and I don't know if you can hear, but there's like jazz music playing in the background. And again, you can move around the room. Here's my coffee. I say, okay, I'm ready to get to work. So um, let me unlock my screens. And this is the environment for me. So, you know, I can I can pick my size that I want and maybe put them right there. That looks pretty good. I can see everything. And then I can go ahead and lock the screen so they don't move anywhere. I can wave my fingers around and... Okay, this is all my personal stuff. So let me jump back over to work. I got my code. I'm all in my coffee shop and I'm ready to get to work. So, so this is pretty, uh, pretty fun, pretty cool stuff. I, I honestly don't know if it's going to work because the headset itself is pretty heavy. Um, and, uh, I just got to figure it out, but it's, it's kind of fun to play with. All right. I'm going to do a different hand gesture to get out of this and quit immersed. And stop the recording and that's that's about it all right so that's been fun fun in virtual reality bye